it's Aaron. What's going on today? So I actually saw this poster in the wild while I was driving around. Um, it's kind of outside uh, Save On Foods and um, what's that chicken place? Uh, Mary Brown's um, shoppers on the west side there. Anyway, it is like an e-roundup, an e-cycle. Um, you can drop off your electronics at either Save On Foods locations or at Visions. Um, it's it's kind of weird because they won't take appliances. That's not the weird part. They'll pretty much take anything that has a cord or a battery, except light fixtures. Like that's, that's why light fixtures? Some electrician or somebody from the e-cycle drive Tell me why appliances fine. I get it. Maybe it's size. Maybe it's something inside, but why not light fixtures? That's a why what's in a light fixture that it can't be e-cycled. Tell me volunteer week kicks off on Sunday. Um, and we will celebrate it here in the city all next week. So with volunteer Lethbridge, they're doing a flag raising at city hall. If you want to play hooky from work or school and just be part of that celebration, you can actually go join them at city hall at 10 o'clock on Monday for that, for the flag raising. Otherwise be a good volunteer and see if you can dedicate some time next week to, um, an organization or just helping out somewhere, maybe around the house. Actually, talking about volunteering, this is kind of timely. I'll get to that in a second. But it was 44 years ago today that Terry Fox dipped his right leg into the Atlantic Ocean, filling two bottles of water and with ocean water and, and went on his way, um, starting the Marathon of Hope, um, finishing in Thunder Bay and, and saying, if I don't make it, the Marathon of Hope must continue. And that's what we've done for 44 years. So with that, the volunteering thing that I'm getting to is the Lethbridge Terry Fox run, the volunteers that have helped organize it for the last six years, they've actually actually stepped down this year. So the Lethbridge Terry Fox run is looking for a couple new volunteers to help organize it. So actually, if you can um, dedicate some time to do that, and you're kind of keen on organizing and and putting yourself at the lead of that, um, sure. I mean, it doesn't have to be just one person, it can be a group, it can be a couple of you that do it. But if you want to reach out to I think her name is Christine or Christina, she runs the the help helps run the Calgary organization for the Terry Fox run. Um, search for the Terry Fox run Lesbridge Facebook page, and all the information how to co uh, to contact Christina is actually on there. And um, yes, I know Terry Fox has family here in Lethbridge. And, um, you know, obviously, we would love to help keep Terry's legacy alive. So that's pretty much it for me. I'm going to, you know, this weekend, I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm taking my kids to, I don't know if you know about them, but they do once a month, these like children's um, workshops at Home Depot. I'm going to take my kids to that for the first time tomorrow. Pray for me. <laughs> like, I don't, it's, I, it could be the worst decision I've ever made. My kids love crafting and they usually do it with their grandma and their dad is a little bit more crafty than I am. Um, but dad is working tomorrow, so I'm going to do it. And it could be completely chaotic and we could just go back out to the van as soon as it starts. So yes, maybe I will see you out there in the wild. Maybe I will see you at Home Depot tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, take care. All right, wherever you are. See you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.